Hello and welcome to the video. Today, I'm going to teach you how to schedule reels within Flick to save you time, help you grow on Instagram faster and make things far more convenient. So let's get right into it. My name is Ben, hello. Great to meet you. Let's jump right into the tutorial. So I'm already within my Flick account. If you don't have Flick yet, the first step is to actually sign up for Flick. And since you're watching this video, there is a free week trial that you can access in the description box of this video, as well as the pinned comment. So go ahead, do that, sign up, and then that's gonna bring you to here. The next step after you've made your account is to connect it to your social medias and specifically your Instagram, since this is a Reels tutorial. So I already have done that. As you can see right here by clicking social groups, which is a grouping of multiple different social media accounts for one brand, which would be my brand. You can see I have my Instagram, my Facebook, and my TikTok. And to adjust that, you can just click manage social groups, then edit linked socials. And then here you can unlink or relink any of your desired socials from Instagram, Facebook, or TikTok. So once you've done that, you are good to go. As you can see right here, I am connected to my Instagram account so I can schedule out reels. So just come in here, follow the steps. It's very straightforward. Once you've done that, you can then start scheduling out your reels. So let's show you how to do that. So on the left here, you can see scheduling and then reels in big blue letters because you can automatically schedule out your Instagram reels. I'm gonna show you how. So we'll click through. That will bring us to our beautiful schedule here within Flick. And this has a ton of different things for you to work with. So on the left side here, you're gonna see your media library. And this has a few different tools within it. So within here, you can see recent notifications. So if there's any notifications that have been sent to you, this is where they'll show up. Drafts is any post that you have gone through and started the process of creating, but not actually made live or scheduled to go live. So if you've done parts of a post, but you weren't sure when you wanted to post it, or if you're missing one or two things, you can save it as a draft to then easily go back to later and then make it live once you have it all sorted out. And then here, here is actually your media library. So here is the content that you can come upload whenever you want to then use later to actually schedule out content on your account. So as you can see right here, these are videos. You can also upload static images. You can upload either right within here by clicking upload files. So by clicking that, you can then upload them from your computer and then you have easy access to any content that you want to schedule out later. So over here on the right, you're going to see your content calendar and then it will tell you which socials you currently have selected. So as you can see, I showed you before in my social group, I have three, I have Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok all selected. But if I didn't want to post content to all three, what I could do is just uncheck them. So if I do that now, as I go through the posting process, I'm only going to be scheduling out my reels to Instagram. And then from here, you can see it either in a weekly view or a monthly view. And beyond that, you can also see a feed preview. So this will show you a preview of what the content will actually look like once it's been posted and it's living on your feed. It's a great idea to come and look at this, especially if you really care about your aesthetic and you can get a visual representation of how everything's going to look together. But let's walk through how to actually post out a piece of content. And there's a few different ways you can do this. You can go to your monthly or weekly weekly view and then select the date that you want to post to. So I could come here and click something to go live on the 16th and then just click the plus button. That will start the process or I'll go back. You can also just click new post and the other option, you can also come in here, select a piece of content right here. And then I could also then click this up and then create a post. So you have multiple ways to do the same thing. And there's even one more. You come to weekly, you could select the time that you actually want to post. So let's say I want to post it here and then I can start the post that way as well. So there's multiple different ways, but let's just do it with new post. Okay. And then from here, we're going to schedule a reel and then we're going to select from my media library. If I didn't have content already here posted in my library, you could easily again just click upload files and then access the video from your computer and upload it that way. But since I already have videos posted, I'll click media library. We will select this video right here. We will add that video. And as you can see right here, there's a beautiful little preview. You can also adjust the thumbnail. So the preview is basically the thumbnail. That's the image that people see when they come visit your profile. And so here you can adjust and drag this to be whatever you think makes the most sense. So I'll go with this one. And this actually does matter because it's basically like a thumbnail over on YouTube. It's the first thing someone's going to see before they decide to watch the content or not. So using a strong and enticing image is definitely a good idea here. So I like this. I'll then come click update thumbnail. So now that I've selected this image, this will be the thumbnail or the cover photo for that specific reel once it's actually posted. You also have the ability to edit the video as well. So you can crop the aspect ratio with it being a reel. We're going to leave it vertical, but you can also trim the video too with just a drag slider. So if I wanted to cut out a few seconds, I could easily do that and then click apply. But I like the length of this video. So we'll back out. And then below, you're going to see everything else that you would need to schedule schedule out a reel. So here I can write out my caption. This is my caption. You also have the ability to bold text as well as add emojis for when you are writing out your caption. You can also add a location tag. So I will do that. I will add Toronto if I could spell Toronto, Canada. And then you can even add a first comment too. So oftentimes people like to put their hashtags within the first comment. So our scheduler actually allows you to do that automatically. So as soon as the post goes live, so too will the first comment. So you can have your tags there if you'd rather, or you can even have a comment like a call to action or anything else that you may want to include. You can take advantage of that feature right within here. So I could click this. I can then type in what the, I want the comment 
meant to be. So let's say, don't forget to follow or whatever you would want this to be. You can get very creative here. So that comment is now saved. And so that will go live when the post goes live. And I can also add hashtag directly to my caption here as well, or the first comment, whatever I want. So I can type them out manually. So like hashtag content, that will now be a live tag as long as you give it a space. Or what you can do is since Lick has a built-in hashtag research tool where you can find the most optimal tags and then save them into collections, you can also access your collections right within here as well. So I can come over, I can click business advice and I can select these right here, or I could select all of them if I wanted to. And then I can insert them right within the caption here to save a bunch of time. So as you've done the research, as we've shown in other tutorials, and you have access to all the hashtags that you want easily. You can access them very quickly, just going through your collections right within the scheduler and then adding them wherever you want them within your actual content. So I've gone through, I've walked through everything that we want to do here the last step is to select the actual date. So we can come in here. Let's say I want this live for Wednesday. So we can select the time that we want it to go live for that day. We can select whatever time we want. Let's pick 6 p.m. And Flick will also suggest the best time to post based on your account once you've connected it. So that is a great feature as well. And then here you can click auto publish, which means that the post will automatically go live at this scheduled date, or you can click it and you can make it a notification. So what this will do is that will actually send you a notification at this time. So then you can manually make it go live. I would rather do the auto publish so I don't have to think about it, but there are some situations where you may just want the notification to make sure, give it one more last pass to make sure that it has everything that you want. It's good to go out, but I'm going to go with auto publish because I want it to automatically go live. And so all I have to do from that point is click schedule. And if you scroll down within your calendar, you're now going to see that post right here within my content calendar. Okay. So it has all the details that we had put through. It has at the right time and the right date, and this will go live automatically on my Instagram as a reel. But since I don't want this to actually go live and say, if you're doing this as a test, make sure to actually delete it because it will automatically publish as the suggest. So I will delete it because I've forgotten in the past, but this is exactly how you post out your reels. You can come in here and save a ton of time, do months worth of posting all at once, batch schedule your content, batch write your captions, as well as batch add all of the right hashtags to each piece of content to get the most optimal results. And that's how easy it is. Once again, if you haven't tried Flick out, you can do so completely for free using the link in the description box and the pinned comment that will get you a free week trial of all of Flick's different features and services. And if you're looking to grow on social media, this YouTube channel is dedicated to helping you do that. So don't forget to hit that bell button down below. We help you with growing on Instagram as well as TikTok. And we do that every single week. So you do not want to miss any of the videos that can help you crush it and do so in less time. And since you're looking to post out your reels, finding the right reels sounds is really important to go viral. And we give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to find those sounds in this video that just popped up on your screen. So go ahead and click that. That'll give you a very straightforward guide to finding trending sounds before they blow up so that you can use them and get the results and go viral. So go ahead and click that video right now, wherever it is on your screen, it should be big. Click that. I will see you over there and we will help you go viral. All right. Peace.